everybody, Gaming 19 here, and today we're in from the death, death again, with another showcase video. And today I'll be showing off one of my, another one of my shifts, for the Angel Beats Class Cruiser. There isn't much I can actually say about this because the hole for it isn't mine. I got off the floor about five months ago. But I've edited a bit because these parts on the side were designed for a tournament. Same as the And this. Actually, I don't know what they are called. So anyway, the ship is 250 meters in length, 25 meters wide, and 41 meters high. It goes for a Yamato style white ship with three cans at the front, two at the back. These are all crown cans, so they'll be firing some pretty big slow shells with a load of high explosives. High explosives inside. Each one will feed the same gauge of 1273. That's for the armor it's got a meter metal, two meters stone, or meter metal. That's pretty much it. However, along the, the blue side of it, it's got heavy armor triangles, metal, heavy armor, stone, and metal. Overall, I think this ship can reach 10 meters per second. But saying that, it's not quite fast to be a cruise. <clears throat> but it does have a decent amount of propellers. So the five booms has got two ammo storages, steam engine which are pretty much new to the game from about October last year. And it also has a tiny little fuel engine. It's kind of eating up most of my resources for this. Its AI is well protected. In a nice box of stone. And its boom are also protected. I mentioned that this thing was designed for a tournament, which was ba the Battleship Rural. The rules were to ha oh, to have a vessel that can't exceed 250,000 mater materials. And when building this, I ran into the point where I ran out of material, ran out of things to use the materials on. So I built this like battle area, which runs from the bow to the stern for buoyancy. Even though it does a point level keeping the ship above the level. And overall I think this whole thing costs about 20k the resources. Another super slow ship. Pretty plain. Even though it's my ship, I will say it's plain. But at least it had a super slow ship, unlike the Jericho. That didn't have one. 
Got some wood detection equipment. Located. There. Yeah. Stacks are pretty point as well. Could be better. And so could the armor around the turret. That is only a single layer layer of metal. However, what it lacks in armor around turrets it makes up for with repair bots. Which are designed to use materials to repair the ship. However, the ship was also in another tournament, the same as the Jericho, the propane. And where the repair bots are, here and all along here, here, were missiles and torpedoes. But because the only weapon allowed are the cram cannons in the battleship roll, I changed them, removed them and added a repair box. That's pretty much uh, I think that's pretty much it. You can't see from the bottom right corner of this thing. It's 13,614 blocks. Which is pretty big for my crap on laptop. Right, max speed is 9.30 meters per second. Which is kind of bad. Turn rate on it. Pretty excellent. As you can see. Well, by turn rate, I mean swinging them. Alright, that's enough. I'm going around. Now, let's see what she can do. immediately firing and missing. Right, going over the cannons. They're about 1,273 millimeters in diameter and gauge. They like slipping through the superstructure a lot and each other. And the armor is pretty bad. But, again, if they like an armor, they may open in the stuff. For example, firepower. They fire pure HC shells. Which, against one of metal, is absolutely devastating. As seen. Knocks off 10 Oh, it knocked off 10% health in the water. And also put a big nice hole through the front of it. Now this ship was already entered and lost for a proper fight. It can take a hit and dish it. Due to the stone which is good against High explosive shells and the heavy armor punch. It, its main weakness is the rear, as that's just a flat area. 
any cram shot they will completely cripple the shot. And also the fact that it can't fire all its guns at once when the enemy is behind it. And I think that does it for this showcase slash review. But I do have another one coming after this. Like quite, quite literally after. This thing's finished blowing stuff up. For those who don't know, the name of the ship is Angel Beaks. Class Cruiser from the anime Angel Beaks. It's quite good. I do suggest it, however, I don't su suggest it if you if you easily cry. Because the feels are real. And here you see AI dead in about five minutes. And it also has a nice little anchor. Right, I'm gonna pause this and bring up her twin sister. So I'll see you, see you guys in a minute. And welcome back. This is the Angel Beats twin sister, the Saturn class cruiser. The hull is the same. Apart from the bow, this is the same. But the guns and superstructure is different. And the stern. This thing most likely has the same weaknesses as the Angel Beat. But then again, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not an experienced builder. So I'm gonna start with the stern. It's got no propellers hidden in this. Or, uh, or connected to that but apart from these and it also has an overhand like area which originally, originally was designed for L protection but not such a good idea considering most power stick out along with the, with the water The pods on the side are made of metal instead of heavy armor. As I learned that heavy armor gives an armor class bonus to every le layer of armor in front of it. Meaning it's a lot better to have it on the inside of the ship. The bow is different because instead of it going into from three into one it stays at three. Kind of looks cool. It still has pretty much the same armor. One metal slow for the pod. One meter metal. Two meter metals of stone. Some heavy armor. Or the other way around. Metal corner slash slow. Metal beam. Heavy armor. Stone metal. Either way, this thing's gonna take a hit and be able to dish it out. Still got the same metal guns, three at the front, three at the back. I decided to keep two guns of the Angel Beat, which are the, these. They didn't move, but the armor had been improved somewhat and the reload. Because on the Angel Beats, these cannons had a 24 second, now they got 9.9. The main cannons, which are 1364 millimeters, have a 12 second reload, which puts it 3 seconds ahead of the secondaries. 
kind of matches the battleship and cruiser. It's a mix of HE and armor piercing. So, you should be able to get through armor, hopefully. And there's three of them, two at the front, one at the back. And then two HUPs. Kind of one at the front, one at the back. Now, it's super structure is different. Because we've got this little walk around area. And observe this point here. A little smokestack. Area for detection equipment, which kind of looks ugly, and the main bridge. And in here, a stain wheel. And as I said, it was the same hole, it's basically got the same box, box protected AI in stone. Same fuel engine. Given it's the same ship essentially, should be able to keep up, keep the same speed. But I have been proven wrong before. And look at that. Ten meters a second. This ship has also been entered into the battleship role. I started off with the Angel Beats and I'm gonna go out with the same ship. The Saturn Class Cruiser. This thing is a few blocks less by and it's 1300. No. 13,112 blocks. Length is 251 meters. Width is 23 meters. Height is 36. Now let's see what, it, what she can do. about to have 13 shells raining down on it within the space of 24 seconds well 13 seconds and the first shell so four shells land which will cause four percent HP loss Luckily, due to the cannons, I don't think they clip into the superstructure. Otherwise, I'd probably break down and cry. Because I'm sick of my ship shooting itself. And I had a point After that shell hit. Well, there's absolutely no damage. These three barrels. Cannons that show the main batteries are of uh, another battleship. It got recoiled so at the end because that battleship kept capsizing every time all its guns fired and it had 15 of these. These super deadly cannons. But apart from that, the ship holds up better than. What I would say that battleship and then and, and the injury beats. Although this thing's never gonna get to fight till like the sixth of March twenty eighteen. Huge amount of ships on the waiting list. And if they'll land and fuck all to the hole. Just put a whole 
in this user circle. And another one. Into the bottom of the hole. Causing next to nothing from damage. And after a few minutes, the marauder is down to 75%. Nope, 72. And I've done 320k explosive damage. And it's AI dead. The whole, like I said, is the same. Still got the same as the pair box. Mine is about 12, 24. But it still works as well. It's just a thing when it gets the small ideas. Comment that they're not comment in the comments that the angel beats and the Saturn aren't the same ship. It's just because of the colour. Then I'd like to, I'd like to tell them that. This one's only painted black and red, and the gold is stained red for the fact that it kind of looks. It, it was more of the Yamato, so I painted black because that's the paint the Yamato was, from what I've seen. It could have been grey. Not quite sure. Could have been anything. But from an anime scene it was painted black. And that's pretty much it. Not more to see on it. The area detection could do with looking better. Kinda looks like a failed plane. But, I'm proud of the superstructure on this one. Because it doesn't work as ugly. So, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for not uploading for the past month but I've had internet problems and my laptop's been dying so if you like it like the video leave a like and why not subscribe comment in the comments what you want me to do in the future and I'll see you next time